this is my breakfast today. I've got some chocolate and cinnamon pancakes, which I made using egg, oats, a bit of chickpea flour and some raw cacao powder and cinnamon. And then I just mixed it all together and cooked it. I've got some skio yogurt with it, some chia seeds, banana, orange, nectarine and some of the skinny, no not the skinny, what's it called? Sweet Freedom Syrup to go with it. I'm just prepping some veg here to make a roasted veg and lentil lasagna for lunch. So I'm just going to splash some balsamic vinegar over this and maybe a bit of oregano and stick it in the oven to roast for a while. So I've put the cooked lentils and the and the roasted veg. I've mixed them up with this ragu original chunky sauce, and then I've layered it up in here with. Um, I've actually used gluten free lasagna because I had it left over in the cupboard, and I'm trying to use everything up. And then instead of cheese, I've used a whole tube of primula. You know the squeezy stuff. And I've kind of spread that over the top and then I've put tomatoes over the whole of the top of it. And then lots of pepper, salt, Worcester sauce and oregano. And I'm going to pop that in the oven now and hopefully it will be yummy. Um, I would love to smother it in cheddar cheese, but you know, it's a lot of calories. So I'm going to just go with the primula and see, see what it's like. So... Whilst I've been cooking the lunch, I've been nibbling away. I've had a crumpet, I had some rice cakes and a banana. It's one of these days, you know, I just can't stop eating. Um, I don't know what's wrong with me. Well, nothing's wrong with me, but I'm just being a pig. So um, I'm probably going to be over calories today unless this lunch sorts me out. And I think we're going to go out for another walk this afternoon beans on toast for dinner but you know all the calories do soon add up um maybe it's just going to be one of those days but keep your fingers crossed for me absolutely delicious didn't miss the cheddar cheese at all so i have managed to get through the afternoon without eating anything and it is now nearly dinner time so um i'm gonna go and get my beans on toast in a minute and i think i've got just about enough calories left for some for a hot chocolate and maybe a little bit of raspberry sorbet after my beans so all good but you know I've struggled today I was really I don't know what was wrong with me this morning I was just couldn't stop eating even though I actually had quite a big breakfast more calorific than I normally do I don't know it's just it's hard isn't it it's every day is a struggle when you're on a weight loss journey so I just have to um try harder tomorrow I suppose anyway hopefully unless I go mad this evening although we haven't really got anything in the house much for me to go mad on so should be fine I'll let you know later what else was I going to say oh yeah the 10k step challenge thing is going well I've done every day 10 at least 10,000 steps some days a bit more I'm still having to be careful because of my side is injured I did go to the doctor yesterday. Um, our doctor, it, it's difficult to get through on the um, receptionist. You know, they're quite, how can I say this without being mean? They're very, I rang up the day before and they were like, oh no, you can't have an appointment. You can't make an appointment. You need to ring the next day. And it's all very kind of controlling. But once you actually get to see the doctor, which to be fair, I did get to see her the same day so that afternoon she was brilliant and she thinks well she doesn't know what it is it's a bit of a mystery she said it could well be the um you know the bruised ribs or something sort of muscular skeletal but we don't know how I did it you know I, I did say it could have been stretching and yoga like twisting or something like that um but she's going to do some tests just to you know double check but she gave me quite a good um sort of check she's checking on under my armpits and my glands and she listened to my heart and my lungs and she pressed you know felt all my organs to make sure they were all okay and I had to do a urine sample which she tested to make sure there was no blood in it and she asked me loads of questions and did my blood pressure and pulse and all this kind of thing 
So because I hardly ever go to the doctor when I when they do get me in the room, they're like, oh, let's just check this, this and this. But anyway, she's going to do a, another kidney function blood test, even though I had one done last week and it was fine. And what else did she say she was going to do? Um, oh, a, um, what's it called? Oh, I can't remember what it's called. When you can't eat gluten. Honestly, I'm going mad. Um, celiac. Yeah, celiac. Because I did say to her, I have started eating gluten again this year. And before I didn't used to eat it because I thought I was intolerant to it. So she's going to do a celiac test just in case it's something to do with that. And I can't remember what else it was for. What are the other... Anyway, so I'm going to be doing that in a couple of not next week the week after I'll do all those tests and we'll see what happens but I actually also yesterday before I went to the doctor I went and met up with two of my friends over in Dartmouth and one of them had had a bruised rib a few years ago and she said the symptoms are exactly the same as mine and she said hers took at least three months to get better and she said it kind of went as soon as quickly as it came on and she also didn't really know how she'd done it so I'm kind of thinking it probably is you know the physio probably was right because my friend Ange was like when I was telling her about my symptoms she was like oh my gosh exactly the same so we'll see anyway um yeah I'll let you all know but for the minute, I have to be a little bit careful. No yoga still and not too much walking. But at least I'm getting the 10,000 steps done. So that's all good. We're going away next week. We're going to go to my dad's, then to my uncle's, and then to some very... They're not very old, but they're like my oldest family friends it's my mum we're going to stay with my mum's like best friend they went to school together and they're still like best friends they still go on holiday and stuff together we're going to go and stay with her for a couple of days as well and then back to Wiltshire and then back here so we're going to be going to Oxford and maybe into London one day Buckinghamshire Wiltshire so yeah I'm really really looking forward to that I just need to do a bit of a bit of packing I'm going to go and see my mum tomorrow in the afternoon. We were going to meet up today, but the forecast said rain. But apart from one like little shower, it's actually been all right. So we could have met up today, but I've got a load of cleaning and bits and bobs done today. And actually, I've ha I had a lot of work to do and I've finished it. So that's really good. So, yes, lots planned. Um, and I will vlog it all of course and I will keep doing my what I eat in a days for the next few days I probably won't do them whilst we're away but we'll see I'll see how I get on you know what it's like you get busy when visiting people it's quite you don't sometimes don't have time to edit all the videos but maybe I'll do a long one when I get back I'm not sure yet so I think that's all that I have to say really I managed yeah like I say it's it's been a struggle today but I managed I think I've managed to rein it back. Yesterday I did go over calories because we went out, but that's fine. Went to the cinema to watch Top Gun. It was really good. Um, yeah, took me back to the 80s. Um, whenever the first Top Gun was out, I probably didn't watch it in the 80s because I was only like four. But anyway, it was good. So I hope everyone else is doing well. Um, and I hope you are losing weight if that's what you're watching for on your weight loss journey I know other people str are struggling as well actually I've been watching quite a few people and it's so difficult isn't it when especially if you're an emotional eater but keep going everyone we can do this and um, I will catch you all tomorrow for my dinner tonight I've got beans on toast and I've got also half a scotch egg so I have gone over calories today but hey ho Tomorrow's a new day. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.